Good day folks, my name is Sean and this is Air Photography. Today we're just going to do a quick range test with the new DJI Mini SE. I usually don't do range tests with my drones, but because this is just a Wi-Fi, enhanced Wi-Fi drone, I know we can't get too terribly far with it. And uh, we're going to do it safely just out over some fields that, that we own here. And of course we have a spotter that's going to be down there just to keep an eye on the drone. Now with these Wi-Fi drones, if I can get a kilometer and a half, um, a kilometer with a good FPV feed and nice solid connection, I'm happy. I'm not quite sure how far we will get. As you can see, we're in a very rural area, so there's not a lot of Wi-Fi interference. Now, mind you, a lot of these farms on the silos and grain bins, they have uh, pretty powerful antennas for internet, so I don't know if that'll come into play or not. But anyways, let's uh, just take a look at our settings here to make sure everything looks good. Um, 14 satellites. Uh, not as many satellites as I want, but I've been having trouble, haven't got over uh, 13 or 14 today, so I think that's the best we're going to do. Uh, we're going to be flying in sport mode, and uh, let's just check to make sure our map is set properly, our home point anyway, I should say, and that looks good. And our return to home height is set at 60 meters. We've got max altitude at 120, and we have no limit set for the distance. So that's all we need to know for right now. There is a little bit of a wind, um, so I will have to keep an eye on the battery because on the way home I will be flying into the wind. So that can uh, affect things, uh, make sure we hope get home safely. Uh, but I think we will have lots of battery because as mentioned, we can't get out very far. So now I'm gonna go up, uh, I'm not gonna go too terribly high to start. And I'm gonna head in this direction away from people. It's uh, started about maybe 40 meters. There we go there, 42, 43. That should be good. I'm kind of up on a hill here a little bit, so we should get a good signal at that height. We will raise it if need be. As mentioned, as long as I get about a kilometer to a kilometer and a half with a good FPV feed, I'm happy. And, uh, We'll see what happens here. So we're about uh, 500 meters out almost, so half a kilometer. And I might fast forward through some of this. Uh, you probably don't want to watch all the boring stuff. And actually I am going to hit record, just so maybe I'll put some of the footage up there. So for any of you who are interested, you can see what the quality of the video looks like. You can see there the FPV feed is kind of breaking up a little bit. We're just at a thousand meters or coming up to a thousand meters now. Let's uh, maybe raise the height up a little bit, the altitude I should say. Let's go up to 60 meters. RC strength is uh, looking good, but it says now we're getting aircraft interference. We're just over a kilometer now. I've sent the DJI FPV drone out this way and uh, I've had it out about four to five kilometers, something like that. So we're at a kilometer and a half now and as you can see the RC strength still looks good but the FPV feed is getting a little jittery. Aircraft signal interference, but uh, there's nothing in the way. Maybe we'll... Uh, Raise the altitude a little bit more. So we're coming up on 2,000 meters, so that'll be two kilometers. So, you know, that's pretty good if you can get that far with a drone like this. But there's nothing quite like that OcuSync because you can see there that the uh, feed is getting jittery. And, um, you know, it's hard to do precise movements when everything is getting blocky like that. So we're over two kilometers now. I'm just going to bring the aircraft this way a little bit. So far so good. RC strength is still at a full five bar. Our battery is looking good, 86%. You can see there that the FPV screen is really kind of locking up now. So. I'm assuming we're going to lose it 
in the very near future. So we're coming up to 3,000 meters, so that's actually farther than I thought I was going to get with it. 3,000 meters will be 3 kilometers. You can see the FPV feed is getting a little bit uh, laggy, but uh, we still have full 5 bars. We're now getting a message weak signal, adjust antennas, and there we go there, we've lost FPV feed. So now it's saying return to home. So we're just over three kilometers when we've lost our transmission. So now we'll just let the drone come back a little bit. We probably could have pushed it a little farther. It may have reconnected, may have not have, but uh, we'll just let the drone come home here now. You can see there we have reconnected. We're back at 2,800 meters. Now, as mentioned, I'm out in a rural area. So if you're flying this drone, if you're going to be picking it up and flying it in something like a city, there's going to be a lot more Wi-Fi interference. So uh, you'll be lucky to get a kilometer, uh, maybe a little over, uh, maybe not even. I've uh, flown the original Mavic Mini, which had a enhanced Wi-Fi as well. And uh, some areas of the city, I could barely get past five to 600 meters and it was disconnecting. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, that's a good amount of range and really, when you start to get out to about three kilometers, you're pretty well past, you're getting just to the point of visual line of sight, especially with something like the Mini, you can't see it up in the sky at that distance. So, you know, that's why I said about a kilometer to a kilometer and a half, that's usually a good range where you can still visually see the drone and uh, still get out far enough to film what you want to film. So you can see off in the distance there, that's where we're headed to. We still have uh, a little bit farther to go. Now I could put it back and just fly it home manually in sport mode. I'd get there a little bit quicker, but uh, I'm just going to let it come home. We'll kind of test the uh, landing accuracy at the same time. I'll probably have to take manual control because if you see above me, I've got a tree. I took off right beside it, so we don't want it to come down on the tree, but that's okay. If you weren't aware, uh, one nice thing you can do with the Mini Series, which you can't do with the Air 2 or the Air 2S, is you can actually spin the drone around. So as it's going home, you can uh, look around, fly backwards, fly to the side. You know, so that can be kind of uh, something interesting. So that can, so it can kind of give you some interesting footage and interesting views. I kind of wish the um, Air 2S would do that. Because if we want some back shots like that, flying backwards, we can do so quite easily. So there we go, the drone's back now. I did get a little impatient and just flew it back manually in sport mode, just uh, to get it back quicker. So yeah, we got three kilometers out before we disconnected, so that's not too terribly bad. Let's bring it over the landing pad. There we go there. Well, folks, hopefully you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.